Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to record and display images in a PostgreSQL database using Node-RED Dashboard 2.0. Let's get started. In Node-RED Dashboard 2.0, I created a form to insert data into the database, including an image input using UI file input. Besides inserting data, I will also retrieve data from the database in Dashboard 2.0, display it in a table, and show the image in a dialog group when a table entry is clicked. This is the page I created in the dashboard. The first page is input data, which includes groups for entering new data, viewing and editing data, and a dialog page for viewing images and editing data. The second page is view data, which displays data from the database into a table, along with a dialog page for viewing images in detail when data in table is clicked. Here is an example of the table I use to store data. It contains several columns with data in varchar format, such as item number, family, and others. For images, I use the byta format, which is used to store binary data in the database table. And here is the node red flow. First is the flow for inserting data into the database. I use UI file input to upload an image and display the uploaded image in a UI template for preview. Then, a UI form is used to input other data such as item number, family, and other details. I use a join node to combine the uploaded image and form submission, ensuring the data is inserted only after both the image upload and form submission are completed. And here are the details of the flow for inserting data into the database. First, the UI file input node is used to upload a file. If data needs to be inserted without uploading an image, a button is used so that uploading an image is not mandatory. To display the image on the dashboard, a function node converts the image buffer into base64 format and formats it properly for display. Then, a UI template is used to show the image on the dashboard. From the file input, I use a change node to extract the file name and file type, which will be inserted into the database. For other data, I use a UI form so users can input details such as item number, family, subfamily, item name, vendor, and more. I also include drop-down menus for several selectable options. Next, I use a join node to combine the input from the uploaded image and the form data. This ensures that all necessary data, including the image, if provided, and form inputs, are merged before being inserted into the database. Before inserting data into the database, I use a function node to convert the image data into byte format, which is the binary storage format in PostgreSQL. And here is the query used to insert data into the table. The next example flow is view data. First, I use a button node as a trigger to execute a select query in the database. Then, a function node processes the retrieved data into an array format so it can be properly displayed in a table. In the table node, I enable the click interaction, so when a table entry is clicked, it will trigger the display of detailed data. First, the selected item number from the table is retrieved. Then, a change node sets the show property to display the dialog group by connecting it to the UI control node. Next, based on the retrieved item number, a select query is executed to fetch the corresponding data. The retrieved data is then displayed in text widgets and a template widget within the dialog group, including the image. Here are the details of the flow for displaying data. It starts with a button node as a trigger to fetch data from the PostgreSQL database. Then, a function node processes the retrieved data into an array format, which is then displayed in the table node. In the table node, I enable the click interaction, so when a table entry is clicked, it connects to a change node to retrieve the selected item number. I create a message item number, which will be used to fetch detailed data from the database based on the selected item number. Next, I use a change node to create a payload containing a JSON format that triggers to open the view details dialog group on the view data page. To display the dialog group, the JSON payload is connected to the UI control node. A dialog group is a pop-up window or overlay within the dashboard that displays additional details about a selected item. 
In this case, it is used to show detailed information, including images, when a user clicks on a table entry. Next, the PostgreSQL node executes a select query to retrieve data based on the item number obtained from the table click. The retrieved data is then displayed in various text widgets and the image is shown using a UI template. Here is the result. On the input data page, we can insert data, including uploading an image, which will then be recorded into the database table. First, click upload and select an image file from the local drive. A preview of the image will appear. Next, the form becomes enabled, allowing us to input data such as item number, family, subfamily, item name, and other details. Finally, click the submit button to record the data into the table. Next, we can view the recorded data. At the bottom, there is a button to trigger the select query, which retrieves and displays all data in the table. When we click on a table entry, a dialog appears, showing the image along with a form to edit the data. In this dialog group, there is an upload image option to replace the existing image in the table, along with a form to edit other information. Click the update button in the form to update the data in the table based on the modified information and the newly uploaded image. If you only want to update the information without changing the image, click the No Image Change button. This will enable the form, allowing you to update the data without requiring a new image upload. Next is the View Data page. On this page, there is a button to trigger the retrieval of all data from the table and display it in the table widget. When a table entry is clicked, a pop-up dialog group appears, showing the detailed information of the selected data. In the table, we can also search for data. Additionally, I use drop-down menus to select a family or subfamily, allowing the data to be retrieved based on the selected options. In conclusion, this video, I demonstrated how to record and display images in a PostgreSQL database using Node-RED Dashboard 2.0. We can input data and upload images, then display them in a table with search and filter features. When a table entry is clicked, a pop-up dialog appears to view details and edit information, including updating the image. The entire process, from inserting and viewing to updating data, is done interactively in Node-RED. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.